J.K. Rowling claims people have deeply misunderstood her position on transgender women, and the best-selling author says she's not preoccupied with how the controversy will affect her legacy. Rowling, speaking on the topic for the podcast The Witch Trials of J.K. Rowling, said she never meant to upset anyone with comments broadly seen as antagonistic towards trans women. And a little less broadly from the people in this video right now. (laughs) <laughs> About the reaction from fans that Rowling has ruined her legacy, she counters that people who express such sentiments could not have misunderstood me more profoundly. I do not walk around my house thinking about my legacy. You know, what a pompous way to live your life, walking around thinking, what Fucking will lies. my legacy be? <laughs> P- P- lies. <laughs> <laughs> she no, she's walking around her house thinking about her fucking tweets. Uh, she's thinking about people tweeting at her. Okay, number one, stop calling your castle a house. Like, <laughs> yeah, right? This is stolen, like lower class stolen valor. Power. Well, yeah, middle class. Well, upper class. <laughs> Just me walking around you my house. humble ten bedroom castle home. How many house? <laughs> if you can fit a house in your house, it's not a house. <laughs> like, <laughs> you can fit multiple other houses inside of it like a nesting doll situation yeah yes <laughs> it's at least a mansion if it's got a moat it's a castle honey <laughs> <laughs> yeah if at any point you have had to use the word drawbridge in your daily life <laughs> you do not get to call it a house um, what will my legacy be whatever i'll be dead i care about now i care about the living Probably not, not the all trans the living. living. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag not all lives matter. <laughs> <laughs> Some very specific lives matter. Okay. So I just want to quickly address that this is a treat. This is just, this is a little treat that Mandy and Hoots gave me um, because I don't think we're, uh, there's like, climate change and sometimes people kick me in the head so i might not be here when jk rowling is no longer here so we're doing a little it's a little bit of a cheat a little a little hacking our our podcast and we are covering jk rowling's legacy (laughs) and the death thereof right Mm. Oh, Worms it's are like... eating her reputation. <laughs> it's <laughs> just like wiggling <sighs> through all of that lost. Uh, it's so parts. putrid. Like mm. it's nasty. It smells bloated. It is. It is a new form of decomposition. Mm-hmm. Like it's like like goops are like coming <laughs> off of it. It's. Yeah, there's like fungus involved now. There's like other life forms growing out of the legacy. It's really bad. New ones. Mm. New ones. Never before seen. And they are also (laughs) disgusting. Her legacy is dead. Her legacy is splitting a seam and a bunch of moths are flying out. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, also I want to say, like, oh, I don't care about my legacy, I'll be dead. You don't need to die to have a legacy. No. She already has a legacy. You you have one now. Like that's that is not inherent in the word whatsoever. Like you're still here, stupid. Yeah. Okay, this like, is why she's a bad writer because she doesn't understand uh, yeah. words. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna tell you my first memory of Joanne from the before times, okay. like B, like I don't know, like ten BGC. <laughs> okay, <laughs> BGC. <laughs> Okay, so it's like, I think it was like 2007-ish. I was in a high school and someone mentioned to me that Dumbledore was a homo now. And I was like, well, that doesn't make sense because I don't think there's like going to be more books. I feel like this is like done. <laughs> she really <laughs> waited on that reveal, didn't she? <laughs> she and sure they were did. like, no, no, no. Like she said in an interview and I'm like, but she didn't say it in the books. And at this point, I was already radicalized into like severe homosexuality Mm -hmm. so i was not i was not having any of that i was Mm -hmm. already an sjw Um, right nobody was gonna be like oh no they're gay after and i was gonna be like oh my god thank you so much Mm -hmm. like i was this is like early if i had had twitter i would have 
I would have been canceling her for that. Yeah. It's like mm. shit or get off the pot. Like show him glug glugging and slurping or yes. or don't say anything. You know what I mean? Right. Let I want to see him with minds. eight inches of a wand down his throat. Mm-hmm. That's happening or it's not happening, but he's not yeah. gay if he's not doing that. She said it at like Carnegie Hall, I think. And <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> like she was giving a concert? It was at, it was at a Carnegie Hall Q&A. <laughs> It was a Carnegie. <laughs> How was long a Carnegie? after the last book did she wait till she said that again? Because I know it wasn't like super long after, but it was still long enough. It was just like, what the fuck are you doing? What, what was the name of the last book? Deathly Hallows. And Deathly. It, Deathly Hallows was released in 2007. Okay, I can't say for sure that this was after, but I'm pretty sure it was 2007. And I don't know if she would have done it pre the book coming out but i'm not going to comment on it either way um, or maybe, but it's maybe not it was in like the text interviews in the lead up to it coming out or something it, it was written it was a written published yeah. book <laughs> yeah. right and it was yeah, about the book was done sales were already up like yeah. <laughs> yeah she made her money and yeah. she was like bt dubs and it's not in the book so it doesn't matter no. like she was like, Most I went out to Canal Street with- <laughs> the other night and I had I was like drinking apple martinis with my gays and I just decided to make one of my characters gay retroactively. She's like, wouldn't it be so funny if a character was gay, but if they were like also like so old that none of the children could identify with them? <laughs> um, uh, somebody asked if Dumbledore had ever loved anyone. <laughs> Which is like such a that sad is the saddest comment. thing I've ever heard. Of course, <laughs> it, it's like how how bad did you treat this man? How empty did you make his life that you got a comment asking if he had ever loved anyone? I just choked on my own air because that and was so she sad. replied, "Dumbledore is gay." Actually. <laughs> That's not actually an answer. That's not actually an answer. Because you could be gay and not have ever loved anybody. <laughs> you said she didn't even answer the fucking question. You could. She's like, actually, a romantic. Actually, he's gay, so no, he can't experience love. They're not people. They don't have souls. They are fun, though, aren't they? They're so charming. <laughs> They're so charming. Okay, I just I do want to say that if you're writing a book and you don't actually write that the characters are the things that they are, you can't actually be like, oh, they're blank actually because like mm-hmm. what is what does that even mean fact. in in your head canon as the writer? Right, like, yeah, because it's not it's canon kind of, if it's not in the text. Right, because it's kind of one thing if like fans kind of read into the text and go like, oh, if you kind of look at like. Um, uh, Tonks, for example, some people have read into Tonks being uh, a non-binary character, for example. Like, that's yeah. the thing that's kind of fun for care for like f- the fandom to sort of speculate on. But if you're the fucking author, like you like, why are you like dropping these things like years after the fact sometimes in cases? Because like that was like the start, obviously, it was the whole, you know, Dumbledore's gay, actually. And then she started saying things like, oh, Hermione was black, actually. And she just started dropping all this stuff. And, and it's wizards like, you- just... Pooped just on put the it, floor and magic it floor. away. That's the pooping a to- in the corner. I, just that, really, that, that, that was the worst. That one one's just so like weird. A, like why? Like a sixteen-year-old in a litter box in a high school. <laughs> just, <laughs> I mean, just okay. shitting in the corner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I will. Okay, I'll come in here and be devil's advocate and like defend J.K. Rowling here by saying that like she's not the only author that has provided paratext to her text. Right. Mm -hmm. Like providing details like like there's there's whole like there's there's whole Game of Thrones books that you can read that are just like encyclopedias of Game of Thrones paratext. Um, I'm I'm like chill with that. Just not about like representation. She did it like a fucking weirdo. Like she did it like a fucking yeah. Because she gets credit for it. <laughs> exactly. Like it's uh very cynically done. Uh, at yeah. least like the the Dumbledore is gay thing was like very cynically done. Um, mm-hmm. And then some of her like paratext like. Well, actually, not even paratext stuff that was like headed toward becoming text, like um, in Fantastic Beasts, like them um, mm-hmm. addressing why wizards didn't stop Hitler is like a direct <laughs> response to people bitching in forums online. And like that is so like petty and annoying as well. Um, 
I guess like pooping in corners and magic, magicking it away is just like pure paratext, but we didn't need it. And we didn't need it to be tweeted out by like the wizarding world Twitter. It was very, <laughs> very weird. A very, very weird thing to do. Yeah. I'm just yep. usually like you couldn't, they didn't have a holes. <laughs> I mean, they well, obviously also, had holes it, if they're pooping. It, it's but like, weird because, like, wizards are still human beings. And, like, wouldn't there still be some, <laughs> like, societal norms that they would, some like... Some shame? Don't you have any shame in your in your shitty culture? Against shitting your pants? There'd be some shame. Especially for the ones who, like, grew up with muggle parents. Like, wouldn't the... Would, they wouldn't be imagining away when they're little. They'd still grow up with a bathroom. <laughs> Like it, it just brings up so many questions that I don't want answered. They, they'd have to learn to shit on the floor. Like they would have to teach themselves. <laughs> they'd have to literally learn. Like, can you just imagine Hermione just watching in horror as like Ron just takes a big old shit right in front of her face. And then she has to learn that that's normal. Yeah. When I, when I was in high school, uh, one of because I was in high school with a bunch of like stupid teenage boys. One of my high school boyfriends one day got a pair of adult diapers and wore them to school, uh, and then like tried to like pee his pants. But he, he tried for hours. He was like, "It's actually really hard to like force yourself to like pee your pants if you're not actually yeah, incontinent." So. Because we've had a lifetime of training not to do that. Right, you're taught to to hold it in. Like, it's considered so shameful. Yeah. And he was like, it's actually really hard. I'd be scared to cross that yeah. line. Because, like, what if you can never go back? Yeah, what if, you like, you pee your pants, your pants once and then you just piss your bed for the rest of your life? Mm-hmm. Not my Casper mattress. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, honey. They've got a hundred night guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> Not sponsored. You're just trading out that mattress every hundred nights. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I need to move past this, but I just want to say that when people cheered, when she was like, Dumbledore is gay, actually, she mm-hmm. was like, I would have told you earlier if I knew it would make you so happy. Because <laughs> she only Which did like, it for the point. I, I would have told you you're... sooner if I knew it would give me some yeah. empty brownie points yeah. with a gay community. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you're right. I am a woke queen. I am the voice of the LGBTQ community. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's like being like at like a a Q and A at like Titanic 3D, and they were like, "Listen, so I know we didn't show it in the movie, but fun fact, it was an iceberg." <laughs> like, I feel like just if you if you care about it, put it put it in. Yeah, let me know if the iceberg's gay. <laughs> Can you imagine like a version of Titanic where you're like, why? How did that thing go down? It was, just, it was fine. Nobody it, was knows. Was it just suddenly had a bunch of holes in it. Yeah, it could have been anything. Sharks. Well, maybe. It, it happened shortly after Jack and Rose had sex. So I guess it was them. They fucked so hard. They took down that Titanic. I guess it was sodomy. <laughs> they fucked that ship in half. <laughs> <laughs> they did. <laughs> no, not splitting her it open. Comes up to slap the side and just cracks. <laughs> just like her, like hand against Where's the window. Bridge? The Where's like little edit? crack runs down the glass yeah. and then down the car and down the side of the boat. <laughs> and they both go, oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Should we finish? <laughs> I feel like we should finish. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> Everyone's about to die. <laughs> okay, so I have some some quotes about Joanne's legacy. I do think I think it's fair to say that there are going to be people who will, for the rest of their lives, remember Joanne as like a brave feminist icon, a queen. Um, I feel like that that's a very small group of loud people. I think most people don't care about trans people or Joanne. Um, mm. unless I think that's accurate. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. like us, they are terminally yeah. fucking online. Um, but there are a lot of people who have like a lot of weird ideas about who she is and what she's accomplished. So I'm going to send some quotes. Um, who wants to read one first? I'll go. Okay. I'll read one. So Whatever you want. You. Whatever you want. Okay. Uh, this one can be Mandy. 
J.K. Rowling is arguably the most successful author in the history of publishing, (laughs) with the possible exception of God. Who said that? Who said that? (laughs) Who said that? Where are you? I need to talk to you. (laughs) Sorry, there's got to be somebody else with a better with a better selling book than J.K. Rowling. Like they probably also suck, but like surely like the lady who wrote The Secret. I think it was like Agatha Christie. Oh yeah, she is. The Agatha best Christie is a. Isn't she, she? She's okay-ish, isn't she? I don't know that much about Agatha Christie, but I don't think I've ever heard. I I, I don't. I'm not canceling Agatha Christie right now. I don't know anything about the girl. <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, I I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Let us know if we should do a future episode about Agatha Christie. I have no idea. But I feel like I've never heard anything about her necessarily. I just only know that one Doctor Who episode. <laughs> I'm not even entirely certain she's real. <laughs> yeah. Is she the woman from Murder, She Wrote? I mean, I'm an Agatha Christie <laughs> truther. <laughs> I think she was a real person. I don't know. If, maybe it was a pseudonym. I don't know. I have fucking no idea. But <laughs> oh, <God>. let us know. <laughs> is Agatha Christie real? Show yourself, Agatha. If you want to know who said that. That was Megan Phelps Roper. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. Uh, of course it is. Megan Phelps Roper has never read another book. <laughs> she's read the Bible and Harry Potter. And she's yeah. like, these are my two favorite mm-hmm. authors. And God. let's be honest. Her dad read her the Bible and she listened <laughs> to the audio book of Harry Potter. Uh, Yeah. Oh, my God. Hold on. <laughs> I have. That's it. I'm. <laughs> oh, oh. I scared them away. You did. Caitlin's like, oh, I was I like, I was like, Megan Phelps Roper can't read. And Caitlin was like, I have to get out of here before they find out my secret. <laughs> they come oh, for me. no, I'm Leo Michelle. <laughs> um, I got this super cute pink King James version of the Holy Bible. Oh, for my that video. is cute. That is cute. <laughs> Isn't it so nice? <laughs> She's so femme. Oh, I it love how the camera cute. Oh, I'm like followed. a, I'm yeah. like a YouTuber. <laughs> like, yeah. oh my god! <laughs> and this is the Bible. <laughs> this is this is my King James. As you can see. <laughs> also, okay, like, how are we tracking like success in the history of publishing here? Like, what were God's pre-sales like? Right. <laughs> well, I want to see the. I want to see the reviews. Yeah. Because, like, honestly, I feel like they've been pretty mixed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, God hasn't like published anything new in a really long time, so kind of a one hit oh wonder. Yeah, it's like, why are you still subscribed to this channel? It's just like Magdalene Burns. I'm like, what are you waiting right? for? The next drop? <laughs> and I mean, he's doing a lot of gaming the system. He got all of the hotels to buy in. Like, yeah, That's a lot fair. of those copies yeah. aren't even being read. I would say most of them aren't being Scam. read. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the vast majority like, I don't think I can't think of a single person who, that I know in my life who's ever like gotten to a hotel and be like oh thank god the bible's here oh my god I, I was really worried I was gonna be bored <laughs> <laughs> yeah what else was I gonna I do we're like canceling god for publishing scams on this podcast we are never uh, seeing a about time someone did heaven. <laughs> I have a quote for hoots to read now okay Yes. I think, oh, oh no, (laughs) Kaylin. I know this one. (laughs) Fuck. I know this one. I think J.K. Rowling will be spoken of like Rosa Parks refusing to give up her seat on the bus. (laughs) What seat is this? The toilet seat? Oh, not not (laughs) R.P. Rowling. <laughs> oh my god, did you know she doesn't even have a middle name? I see you be Wait, the K is made up? I thought it was like yes, Kathleen or something. She made it up just so she could be like, I could be a man. You don't know. I guess J Rowling does sound like shit. And I know it's rolling. <laughs> Everybody's already told me it's rolling. I'm gonna keep saying Rowling until the I'll day say I the die. Fuck I want. Rowling. Rowling. I'm like, Rowling dress who you cares. want, sleep with anyone who will consent to it, but I can call you whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to call you by whatever you want me to call you. Yeah, oh, that's the wolf, actually... The wolf police, are, the PC police are coming for me for pronouncing her name wrong. <laughs> Up yours, wolf moralist. <laughs> <laughs> 
So we'll see who cancels it. <laughs> it's Rowling. She looks like a Rowling. She's like growling about trans people. Jesus, this fucking quote. Whenever I see it, I'm just like, why? <laughs> what? what? How? Just Rosa, how? It just breaks Parks. my brain. When was J.K. Like, Rowling arrested? Rosa Parks. When was she arrested? What did she ever do that remotely helped fucking civil liberties for anybody? It's <laughs> like, almost like it's just... kind of like the opposite of that. She's like the image you see when you Google white <laughs> feminism. <laughs> She's being compared to fucking Rosa Parks. Yeah. Go to jail. She's, go to jail. She's the Rosa like Rosa Parks, Parks had to. If you want to be Rosa, Rosa Parks, Parks, you're going to need to go to fucking jail. Okay, I got, I got another one for Hoots. Not long before Rowling was published women authors were unheard of <laughs> fuck you fuck you oh, i love i love it when illiterate people talk not long before rowling was published women authors were unheard of now your generation oh gets to take us further than Jesus any generation Christ. ever could because we aren't living your lives but at least acknowledge that we laid the groundwork for you to take us <laughs> on the next step are you ever Mary kidding Shelley me with this is shit? spinning in her grave <laughs> <laughs> Look, we don't know if Agatha Christie was real, but someone using her name yeah, definitely wrote books. This is books, very so funny. Fuck you. This is very funny. <laughs> Kay, uh, Kay she she Applegate cite, is not a Like Jane novelist. Austen fuck is off. one of her influences. She does. Well, okay. There's so, to, there's so many female I've never heard so, of. She was actually, believe it or not, she was the first woman to learn to read. <laughs> J.K. Rowling was the first woman to ever be able to study medicine. <laughs> oh, not Dr. Quinn Medicine Turf. <laughs> Dr. Quinn Medicine Right, good for her. Okay, so this is in response to somebody being like, she's a horrible person. Like, she's just literally, she's she's awful. Okay. She totally is, but people boycotting altogether would cause a humanitarian <laughs> crisis. <laughs> the, <laughs> what? Oh, I just peaked so much. I'm so sorry. I'm not even done yet. Hang on. I'm just imagining. Let me try this I'm again. I'm imagining <laughs> Harry Potter refugees. <laughs> all, of the, all those little wizards having, having, and they to, the having to come to America because <laughs> J.K. Rowling's ass is sick because Joanne dipped just under blankets looking up at the fucking... <sighs> These are people who who literally think that Britain is Hogwarts, and they're like, oh, the witches will lose their jobs. They really do. It's like synonymous. Like before fucking J.K. Rowling, go? British people didn't have a goddamn identity. <laughs> okay, there's more to that quote. Sorry, I haven't finished yet. Um, the UK economy heavily relies on the assets provided by the Harry Potter branch. Look, this is also why we can't get rid of the monarchy because we need them for tourism. <laughs> like, also, no, they don't. Like, people don't visit the what? UK to see no. Harry Potter. That's why they go to Orlando and Hollywood. <laughs> <Yeah>. Like, <laughs> where like are Harry they going? Potter is owned by I Warner do know a few Brothers. People- <laughs> are there like a few things in in England? Because like I do have a couple of friends who have gone to England and done like Harry Potter related things. Like there's there, yeah, there's like a studio tour, but like it's not that that's not their main like that's not a significant amount of tourism. Like I I don't believe that for a second. There's a studio tour, and I don't even think it's still open anymore. I could be wrong, but like that there was a studio tour 13 years ago. No, yeah. Like, what is this? You're going to go there and be like, do you want to go see Big Ben? And they're like, what movie was that from? <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I think they can, like, handle their own tourism. That was a National Lampoon's <laughs> Vacation, actually. Uh, one of the vacation movies. Okay, they d- they this is the last one. It's for Hoots. <laughs> Rowling's real importance lies in the fact that she was the first writer to present a world in which class and wealth mattered. <laughs> Some characters were poor. Oh Some were rich. <laughs> and being poor was a hardship, not just a cheery, sentimental thing in the scenery. Read another book. Oh my God. Charles Dickens is not amused. <laughs> Fuck you all. They have never read another book. 
this person should be haunted by the like ghost of three writers oh like, my god <laughs> yeah <laughs> they've never read another like, book oh my god they've never oh read another my fucking god. book and like that's fine but just stop being so obvious about it or just admit it this just admit you've never read another fucking book just say i just like these books it's okay to only have read seven Jesus. books that's fine it's okay. We're busy. We're busy. We're We're busy. We get it. That's I fine. Might, I might recommend maybe like tiny like, audiobooks because at least then you can. It's multitask. a lot easier. There you, go. you listen. Honestly, like Jesus Christ, you can totally get them for free if you go to r slash piracy. You can also get them for That's free sponsored. if you sign up for a library card and download your local library app. And, that one and requires you to go outside. No, it doesn't. I they, actually- okay, I tried to sign up for a library card. They're like, great, come in tomorrow and bring ID. And I'm like, oh, foiled again. Oh, my God. <laughs> my my library, I've never actually been in my local library. I signed up online and I get ebooks and audiobooks on an app. And I've, I've you know never what? set foot inside that place. I- Okay, so that's what some people are going to remember her for. Um, a bunch of things she didn't do. For being the first writer to ever write about <laughs> poor people and the first woman to ever learn to read. <laughs> Iconic, really. Breaking a lot of glass ceilings. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go through some of the things that um, I'll remember her for. Okay. Um. So the way that all of this started was she liked a tweet. And listen, we've all liked tweets. Mm-hmm. Sometimes some of them bad. Probably mm-hmm. <laughs> a lot of them were really bad. <laughs> not all of them good. Whoops <laughs> among us. Some of us has <laughs> not liked a tweet I didn't even agree with. I just didn't like the other person they were replying to. <laughs> Sometimes I like a tweet because it's just bad enough that I find it hilarious and I want to be able to find it later. Yeah, no. Like, it it, it honestly doesn't really mean that much. And I don't love the fact that people were like, you like to tweet, uh, therefore you're true. But in this case, it ended up being true. Oh, no. Well, they were were correct. They were correct. But But it definitely doesn't apply across the board. Yeah. Yeah. Again, those of us that shit post will like bad tweets on purpose. Oh no, that's like very much because <laughs> that's what I want the algorithm to feed me. <laughs> yeah. I'm not liking it because I like it. I like it because I'm like, I want more. <laughs> Give me your worst take. <laughs> but so she liked a tweet that happened to call men in dresses. <laughs> I can't uh, happened, believe. To, <laughs> happened to say men in dresses get brochalist solidarity I never had. That's misogyny. Oh, Jesus. And when people were like, what the fuck? Get what? Brochalist. She had her rep say, Brochalist. I'm afraid JK Rowling had a clumsy and middle aged moment. And this is not the first time she is favorited by holding oh, her phone age. incorrectly. Okay. How do I even? <laughs> oh my god, phone? I'm so okay. old. I so have. Hard. I don't think I've palm liked a tweet, but I've definitely palm called people before. So again, in a oh, vacuum, absolutely. I could have accepted yeah. this. But then I could have later, also accepted her just saying something like liking a shitty tweet. Like, yeah, I thought it was funny. Wouldn't yeah. it be funny if men wore dresses? <laughs> yeah, she's like, like yes. Isn't brochalist. that hilarious though? <laughs> like, yeah, she could have been thinking of like Harry Styles. You know, yeah, or like <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire. I don't know, like anything, <laughs> and we're here for it. Like um, literal men in dresses. Literal, yeah, men in dresses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> literal. Um, yeah, but obviously that's not how it turned out. Uh, and she did say later mm-hmm. that. Okay, she changed the story. It would go from her like holding her phone incorrectly to her unintentionally liking instead of taking a screenshot, which is like, I don't even know what that means, but like, sure, whatever. I don't care. Okay. Um, because don't she was like, no iPhone? searching. You're so yeah. rich. There's no screenshot button on the screen on no. Twitter. She just meant like, I'm used to taking screenshots, but I wasn't thinking. So I hit like to save it later. And it's like, what's the difference? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. Anyways, her story changed. Don't care. Um, But I will Mm -hmm. always remember her being like, oh, sorry. I had a total senior moment. And it's like, aren't you like 40? Yeah. (laughs) 
Like, You're like 55 and you've got better health care than the rest of us. Like, <laughs> Sorry, a middle-aged moment, which is fine. what I'm going to say every time I do something that I don't want to be accountable for. <laughs> I'm like, sorry, it was a total middle age moment. I'm going to send you something and it's a back and forth. Magdalene was an immensely brave young feminist and a lesbian who was dying of an aggressive brain tumor. You are fucking blackface actors. You are not women. However, as Magdalene was a great believer in the importance of biological sex. You're men who get sexual kicks from being treated like women. And didn't believe lesbians should be called bigots for not dating trans women with penises. Fuck you and your dirty fucking perversions. Dots were joined in the heads of Twitter trans activists. Our oppression isn't a fetish, you pathetic, sick fuck. So that's that's one of Magdalene's most famous MC. quotes. Um, that's the sort of like cute content J.K. Rowling was following her for. It's very so. twee. Yeah, mm -hmm. immensely brave young feminist is like a very interesting way to so, <laughs> so brave. brave, so feminist, so brave, so honey. young, so dying of aggressive brain tumor. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to brain tumors, brain tumors. I guess. <laughs> Sorry you had to deal with that brain tumor. <laughs> Next one is one of my faves okay. because it's one of the cringiest ones. People who menstruate, mm -hmm. this is a JK Rowling tweet. I'm sure there used to be a word for those people. Someone help me out. Woombin? Wimpond? Woomud? <sighs> Question mark. God, we had to hear more Harry Potter creatures there. <laughs> <laughs> so embarrassing. Uh, oh. I remember that one. I I remember oh that. One. I and I, I got, remember that I one got, too. Like, especially annoyed at that one and started tweeting at her because like, like even even if even if you take trans men out of the equation entirely and bi non-binary people out of the equation entirely, people who menstruate is like a deliberately a subset of women. <laughs> yeah, it is a deliberately like. Um, it, it's a specific term because it's referring to a subset of cis women in addition to trans men and non-binary people because JK Rowling mm. herself probably doesn't fall into that category anymore. Like yeah. it is, it is a specific mm -hmm. bit of medical terminology. It's not, you know, something that we're saying in day to day. Like nobody's asking anyone to call like women, people who menstruate like that is a piece yeah. of medical terminology. She was also, quote, tweeting an article, and the article says woman 10 times in it. I did a quick control F mm -hmm. to see, and it just wasn't mm -hmm. in the article title. Therefore, deliberately women are being erased. Therefore, yeah. she didn't bother to yeah. actually read the fucking article, because of course she didn't. Well, there's two options. She misrepresented the article by being willfully ignorant, or she misrepresented the article by willfully lying. Um, yeah. And both of them and are an so inappropriate shitty. way to use a platform <laughs> of over 10 million followers, yep. I would terribly, say. Terribly, terribly disappointing yep. behavior from the first woman to learn how to read. <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm being honest. <laughs> we expected better She learned how to read and then she was like, you know what? Not I for won't. me. <laughs> and it's just like voting. <laughs> like women died for your ability to read. <laughs> Uh, so some that might be true, actually. I know I was joking, but that might <laughs> no, be true. No, it's probably true. <laughs> women died for women's ability to do everything. <laughs> it's, it's true. Like, it, that's, I'm just assuming it's that's really fact. I, I, I find it really depressing when I try to say something like, um, that I think sound in my head sounds like really crazy and out there. And then I'm like, oh, wait. Oh, wait, that sounds right. <laughs> wait, that sounds right. Oh. <laughs> now that I say it out loud, I can tell that it's true. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there is no yeah. hyperbole when it comes to bigotry <laughs> and oppression. She'll go through like all of the tweets that have like really good faith replies, explaining to her very like calmly, rationally and politely, like how what she said is like damaging towards trans liberation and trans rights and equality in general. Mm -hmm. And she'll just like pick someone that she can just like use to make whatever mm -hmm. point she feels like making that day. And this one was someone who said, takes a turf to know a turf because she had said something to a turf. Um, and she quote tweeted it with feminazi. Turf, bitch, witch, 
Times change. Woman hate is eternal. (laughs) And I just love that she just like took four words and was like, these are all the same. Can't you tell? They're beside each other. I'm a turf. I'm a feminazi. I'm a bitch. I'm a witch. Times change. Women hate is eternal. (laughs) What are we supposed to do with that? Like, okay. So someone calling you a turf means they hate women. And what does it mean when they call Graham Linehan a turf? What does it mean when they call Ben Shapiro Mm -hmm. or Jordan Peterson (laughs) <laughs> does does the fact that I don't get called a turf mean that I'm not a real woman? That, that's actually a very good point. I think you just solved Trans transphobia. Icon, little who. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing transphobia ended. As soon as they hear this very logical point, they will accept this bit of new information yeah. and reframe their worldview. Yeah. <laughs> I can't I wait to tell them. them. Out. <laughs> I can't wait to tell them that we were going to change so many minds <laughs> with this rational debate. I also just love the <laughs> this the idea of like comparing turf to words like bitch or feminazi or whatever where those are words that are just like lobbied at all women whereas turf is lobbied at a very specific kind of woman like it really ignores the specificity of that actual term this one is probably i'm not reading any of the like really bad ones because i don't want this episode to be a downer so i'm leaving out the like really horrible things that she says about trans people and going for the ones where i'm like you are so fucking stupid you were so like full-on you should not be tweeting Mm -hmm. this you should not be allowed on twitter because you're a fucking boomer not because you're of your hate speech it's because you belong on facebook because that is the quality of posts you are Mm -hmm. providing Post your like, minion memes to Facebook, <laughs> Joanne. Take your minions and your memes Aunt Joanna. and your minion memes and go back to Facebook. <laughs> go back to Mama's Net. Not my Aunt Joanne. <laughs> it does feel like your Aunt Joanne would be the one to post those. God damn it. Aunt Joanne was on Facebook the other day posting these fucking memes about trans people. It's like, is Aunt Joanne coming for Christmas? Yeah, of course. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, I think I might have to um, work through the holidays, so I don't know if I'll be able to make it back home. (laughs) Joanne Mm. typing all caps to someone like, that's a lovely photo, (laughs) space face Bill. (laughs) (laughs) accidentally hitting the laugh emoji react every laugh time laugh emoji reacting to somebody being like the well the house burned down and we lost everything but the insurance is going to cover it <laughs> yeah and then they're co- and then she's commenting i don't know how to change it i'm so sorry my fave is uh the the like the background that you can give it with like an emoji and it turns into like a cute little like photo. Um, and then it's like a bunch mm-hmm. of like crying emojis and it's like lost Frank today <laughs> after a four year long battle. <laughs> <laughs> it's a crying Hashtag emoji. Never forget. It's crying. <laughs> it is crying. <laughs> I love old people. <laughs> old people are hilarious, but they should stay on Facebook. But they should stay on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Like, if you want me to stay out of the women's bathroom, fine. But you need to stay out of our social media presences. Like, this is <laughs> this is not. You can't have it both ways. Yeah. You can't. You can't. You don't belong here. This is a young people's you, space. You literally don't belong here. Oh, you're so worried about yeah. invading spaces, and yet here you are. Here you are, just- <laughs> where nobody wants you. <laughs> However, wants I will you. say, Cher can stay. Cher's the exception. She's allowed on Twitter. Well, Cher, <laughs> Cher doesn't even tweet like a I don't boomer. Even know what- Who's before boomers? She tweets <laughs> the silent generation. <laughs> She yeah, she tweets like she tweets like someone from the silent generation who's the silent like, generation sounds drugs. like an episode of Doctor Who <laughs> <laughs> that like sticks with it you does. for a couple days after watching it. Spooks you to your fucking core. <laughs> okay. Um I I didn't I didn't know even I didn't even know Cher had a fucking Twitter. I didn't I had Oh my god. She's hilarious. Mandy, go follow her right now. She does not know what she's doing there. And it's so good. She's allowed to stay. 
She's so confused. She's so confused. Do I need to go follow her? Okay. She is, <laughs> she is 100% like white out every time she's tweeting. <laughs> and like, I think it's amazing that like her team hasn't taken As her to her right. by now. <laughs> Uh, but she shares, so like well, <laughs> she's just like talking about no. like her day to day life. But in sometimes all she'll caps, just tweet like weird yeah. emojis and words, and people will be yeah. like, "Yes, queen!" Like it's actually good for her engagement. They're like, "I should go listen to some share on Spotify," and she's like, "Good, I need those cents." Because like most of the times I get hired now, it's not me; it's an impersonator. But as many women have said before me, "Woman is not a costume. Woman is not an idea in a man's head." Woman is not a pink brain, a liking for Jimmy Choo's or any of the other sexist ideas now somehow touted as progressive. I would like Josephine to show me any trans rights organization, any prominent trans activists, any thought leaders in the trans community, any gender identity or ideology texts that have ever suggested that Jimmy Choo's make someone trans or make some, was, sorry, make someone a woman. Like literally the only people the that Chews. say that ugh, number one, they're not even that nice. Like this is somebody who like doesn't have like any unique taste is the one that always brings that up. And it's also, like, like how many trans women mm-hmm. do you know these, who are no, like, none, I love none, Jimmy Choo's. I've never met. Oh, maybe no. Blair White. <laughs> maybe Blair White. Even, even Blair I don't think no. she's a Jimmy Choo girl. Nobody fucking likes Jimmy. These are because these are fucking boomers saying this. Our generation mm, are yeah. fucking Jimmy Choo. Jimmy fucking Choo's. But who are you? Jimmy Choo was like a. That was a thing in like 2006, right? That was like, she's thinking yeah. of Paris Hilton. And like, yeah. yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe somebody needs to just be like, Joanne, Paris Hilton is a cis woman. <laughs> Joanne. <laughs> Joanne. She's just very tall. She's super tall. It's the Jimmy Juice. That's that's not a man. Nicole Richie is just two foot four. She just looks huge next to Nicole Richie. Not Joanne being like, why are trans women always saying that's oh hot? That's hot. That is not being a woman. <laughs> why are trans women always saying, hey, gorge, why? and then throwing an entire bottle of bleach on a pool table in a small town because somebody stole their purse because apparently making fun of Nicole Richie is funny. Nicole! Okay. To be fair, that is like that is Paris that Hilton is like, and also uh, Natalie Wynn. <laughs> <laughs> like legitimately iconic. So I'm like sorry. One, one <laughs> trans woman. <laughs> <laughs> also, like anything could be a costume. Like woman's not a costume. Like sure it is. You could be a crayon. You could be a cat. <laughs> Like, you could be all crayon. sorts of stuff. A woman crayon. You could be a lady M M&M. and M. You could be all sorts of different things. What are you talking about? Woman is not a costume. I'm like Batman's not a costume. It's like, well, then why do I have this Batman costume? Like, like, well, then why am I wearing this wig? Like, they say dress for the job that you want. And I feel like, you, you know, that's what I do people love, do. I do love that they're trying to make like cultural appropriation happen for gender. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh, 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 you want to be woke? Up yours, woke moralists. Let's see. <laughs> what? Well, I mean, it's not a costume. They want it so bad. It's so weird. They're like, oh, you know, w- 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 it's like woman face. It's like black face. <laughs> they want to be oppressed so <laughs> bad. <laughs> Just stop it. Oh, my God. What? woman face and what does a woman's face look like can you describe it to me so i can always tell if someone has a woman's face or a man's face i would yeah i would love a woman's to know face oh my god it and oh god and every fucking time it turns out that they were like oh this person is totally a trans woman it turns out they were just a cis oh, woman who just doesn't this fit is my into new their fave. idea of what a cis woman looks like transvestigators like, fuck the, yes transvestigators are my new yeah. obsession And like, I really want to do a transvestigator transvestigation. (laughs) I just want to say that 
no no trans person has ever been like oh this is a costume that i wear and i take it off before i go to bed yeah like it's such a right. weird no, it's no, it's that's, that's thing. and gender critical people and transphobes who were like that mm-hmm. is just a costume you're not a real woman the only one the only people saying women are a costume are people like joanne by saying it's not a costume she's calling mm-hmm. it a costume <laughs> Right. Then how am I wearing it? That, like trans women get home <laughs> and they just take off all their their stuff and they go just like peel off their now. breasts. Like that's what they <laughs> and like yeah. <laughs> they just like peel off everything. It, it's like one of those like um like like Mission Impossible masks. Like they like, take it off and underneath they're just like <laughs> a oh, man God. with a big beard. Like that's what they think is happening. She literally saw Mrs. Doubtfire and was like, <laughs> "This is the scariest movie." <laughs> I have She's like, ever no, seen. Honestly, you know? <laughs> I'm so disturbed. Have you seen the um, the edit someone did where they made the trailer into like a horror movie trailer? <laughs> I mean, he is stalking his old family. Yeah, it's super creepy. They do a really good job with it. <laughs> I'm gonna get to one of my last faves, which was her promoting very like magnanimously of her. A small woman run business. The wild woman workshop dot com. Mm-hmm. Is that woman with a Y? It is. It <laughs> is so much with a Y. <sighs> Unlike oh, no. women who do not have a Y chromosome, women workshop does have a Y. Hmm. Interesting. So, I'm gonna read uh just some of my favorite <laughs> merch quotes from wildwomanworkshop.com. Okay. No such thing as lesbian with a penis, which I think would look beautiful on just sitting on your Jansport backpack. Just apropos of fucking nothing. <laughs> just a kid behind you on the bus being like, what, mommy, what's that saying? And it's like, oh, baby, don't look. <laughs> Or like yeah. as like one of those like kitchen decorations. Oh, absolutely, that you have yeah. On the wall, like this, like, live, yeah. laugh, love, like, like time <laughs> to wine and wine. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, with yeah, that wine like, cursive writing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's wine o'clock somewhere. Sorry about your <laughs> dick, bro. <laughs> I remember that one. That one's that one's hilarious. I like it. <laughs> Sorry about your dick, bro. I that like one it. Was it's funny. like why? What happened to it? Sorry about your dick, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we are the witches back from the dead. So now these aren't the witches they couldn't burn. It's like they they that wasn't victimy and martyry enough for them. They had to die. They, they, to they the actual actually died and now they're witches. <laughs> literal okay. witches literally burned. So they're So they're the witches yes. from Hocus Pocus, the ones that are evil and you have to defeat so because yes. they're gonna eat children. The groomers. <laughs> Is what they were. The Sanderson groomers, they should call them. Sorry about your kid, bro. They really, I mean, <laughs> considering how horny Sarah Sanderson was for That's the boys. True. Yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um, one of my favorites. Trans activism is misogyny. And it's like, like, I just need to tell you, like, obviously, I, I should make this clear. These are made by gender critical people. So, like, obviously, they're all hideous. Um, that's the link if you ever want to give a little scroll through Um, one of my ultimate faves is sis my arse which I guess is like kiss my ass yeah cats against the patriarchy what does that even mean oh my god I didn't really talk about this they do have one that says surf and turf and I think that's pretty funny (laughs) that's cute I'm going to get that one for nah. me. <laughs> surf and turf. <laughs> I really want ironic turf merchandise, but I don't want to buy it from them. But I think it'd be really cute if in a video I wore a shirt that said adult human female. You could print up your own for sure. Yeah. I'll just buy like vinyl lettering or something. Okay. We're pretty much done, but I have uh, two quotes for you. And I want you to guess if it was either Ben Shapiro or J.K. Rowling who said it. Guess the quote. Guess Ooh, the quote. Oh, this is going to be a fun game. I biology said. is biology. Men can't magically become women and women can't magically become men. Ben Shapiro. Ben yes. Shapiro. 
I yeah, said it like Ben Shapiro, Shapiro yeah. too. I, know. <laughs> I was like, damn it. I'm like, biology is biology. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> like, biology is biology. <laughs> Let's say <laughs> hypothetically. Can, naturally you become biology a woman. Is biology. <laughs> you gotta do it. Everything he you says is like <laughs> short and staccato like this. <laughs> it's like it's, it's it's very it's very it's very biology specific, is very specific, biology uh wet ass pussy um <laughs> transgender people are unfortunately suffering Sorry. from a significant mental illness that is deeply harmful and it's not a solution to pretend that transgender people are the sex that they think they are in their head that's jk she's long-winded she's a long it's also ben shapiro it's from Rowling. the same quote <laughs> i'm sorry they were both ben shapiro oh, oh no, they're both. i was like they're you also tweaked they're, us. did they like do like one of those like pair tweets or something <laughs> they're, like joining up shit oh my god oh no not a co-tweet <laughs> co-tweet can you just imagine just ben shapiro and jk rally quote tweeting oh, uh, transgender Shapoopy. people are sick oh, in the no. head <laughs> <laughs> i couldn't oh i i was like <laughs> i was throwing this together she's a little last man and i was like oh damn i wish i had a bunch of them and i was like you know what i'm gonna do this as a live stream at some point it's just like a bunch of yeah, transphobic quotes and then you have to guess who says it but i would like to say uh that the whole like what will my legacy be thing is she doesn't care about it because she's going to be dead. And I would like to say, like, on a positive note, that long <laughs> after she's dead, after her, like, she's a skeleton on a in a mausoleum on, like, a scorched earth and trans people are, like, using gender neutral bathrooms on Mars, like... Nobody will remember her. Nobody's going to remember Harry Potter the same way people are mm -hmm. like, what the fuck is the Wizard of Oz? <laughs> like, her legacy is nothing. Like, like in the context of humanity and of art, she is going to have a blip. And trans people are going to exist mm -hmm. until the end of humanity. So, like, I just thought that was a nice little, mm -hmm. a little note, a little... A neat little treat. Yeah, so take a bite out of that turf. <laughs> <laughs> Stick that in your fucking <laughs> pipe and smoke it. Okay, the world mm -hmm. would be better off if she would put something in a pipe and smoke it. Like, swear yeah, to fucking would. God. Smoke. <laughs> smoke like, something for the love of Dalvia. opium. MMDA. <laughs> <laughs> we all yelled a different Maybe drug. Maybe that's what she just needs. <laughs> AK Rowling's <laughs> ayahuasca trip shit. would really like oh, save the God. world. Honestly, the way that she would come out like so refreshed and refreshed, ew, refreshed, refreshed and refreshed. glorious, she refreshed, refreshed back up, refreshed. Oh, that's gross. That's gross. I, it's like, she's like, oh, thank I'm for those all. <laughs> I'm all again. Refresh. I am JK Rowling, and I have refreshed myself. <laughs> I'm ready to be so transphobic. <laughs> <laughs> She's just coming out and is like, I'm gonna have a phobia that's so trans. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's reached her final form. No, right after you think you've defeated her, and her like fucking skeleton hand bursts out the top of the mausoleum on a scorched she earth, <laughs> <laughs> and starts flying towards Mars. The Uber turf. It's like a fucking Resident Evil fucking boss fight, <laughs> just like a bunch uh, of eyeballs and extra glimpses oh no. coming out of her <laughs> No, not a biblically accurate turf. <laughs> the eyeballs and the wings and, and the, the hair like, be afraid all in the bangs just like all the eyes have turf oh, bangs so it's just like a single eye with, with the, the highlights bangs. Fucking highlights are chunky oh no <laughs> it's like eyelashes that are curled oh, down oh my god <laughs> just straight into her into her irises <laughs> So like she's so grumpy all the time. Her eyes hurt. Oh, <laughs> Imagine if that was the lore. She releases an an essay in like two years, just being like, "Listen, I said some stuff. Okay, we can all agree. We all said some yeah. stuff, but we my regret. eyes hurt. I was using my eyelash curler upside down by accident." <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, it's like honestly, the second I stopped using drugstore oh makeup, I really didn't care what trans people were doing. <laughs> it was like I feel so good. <laughs> yeah. Now you've got me being like, I think with some creme de la mer I could fix her. <laughs> <laughs> like honestly she's just dehydrated you can afford it girl like, yes drink some water do some drugs put some creme de la fucking mare on I love, your face I, a nice egg I wash i love the idea hair, that it's like, like like rebranding her channel to like help bigots like find their inner beauty by like okay i use this highlight to bring out oh no we just like made de-radicalizing empathy. De-radicalizing we arrive for the alt-right <laughs> yeah <laughs> we yeah, queer eye for the exactly, outright. exactly. The three of Which us is just basically like just queer eye, just like giving them a makeover. It is. They're like, we're going to put these <laughs> in a situation that is so uncomfortable. <laughs> like, see that Confederate flag? How does that make you feel? <laughs> If we add some glitter onto it, it'll be fine. <laughs> okay, well, um, we have a Patreon if you hate J.K. Rowling and love us. We do. Yeah, um, give us some And we're money. also all yeah. starving to death, unlike J.K. Rowling. We're who all has broke. A moat, probably. <laughs> if you no give us enough money, I can if you... go get some creme de la mer and go to J.K. Rowling's castle and solve and transphobia for the second I can, time tonight. I can solve transphobia. <laughs> Yeah, it picks it. And, and also, if you give us enough money, we will actually read a fucking ad. Like it has to be a fake ad, but we will read an ad for you based off of a fake business. You can write whatever you want. And we will read it. We will do it. So give us money, and we will advertise and business that you do not actually have. Yeah, leave us a little review. We'll read it on the podcast. Give us five at stars least. anywhere wherever you can leave reviews. At least five stars, and then we will yeah. Read if you give us a podcast. one star review, we're not going to read it unless it's a really yeah. Mean. It's not Phyllis thing. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm sorry if, if, if it's if really you funny. Me, we'll do it. Then like I probably will read Don't it. Don't do it. But like I won't appreciate it. No, I will. Yeah, you can leave a mean review and still give leave us a five mean stars. comments. <laughs> yeah, and give us five stars. Yeah. And also you you sometimes get like extra long episodes, which is pretty cool. There's like stuff we don't always have in the public episodes that you can get. That's cool. That's free, so, you know, on our Patreon if you pay. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's free, it's free yeah. if you pay. <laughs> as soon as you pay, Sorry. you get access to free oatmeal. episodes that are longer. Yeah. You get yeah. free Simple stuff map. if you pay. <laughs> Yeah. Don't think about it. Just Don't give us money. Don't think about it. Just pay. <laughs> Just pay us. Okay, well, we won't have an outro, so goodbye, everyone. Follow us on Twitter. Links in the description. Bye. Bye. Love you all. Love, love you all. So Bye. Bye.